Nine News reporter Jordan Chavez is tracking the latest developments in the investigation. And Jordan, in the NTSB's preliminary findings, they think metal fatigue may have been the problem. Yeah, that's what they're thinking as of now. New pictures that we just saw yesterday show some of the damage to the engine. And another photo shows a hole in the belly of that plane. But there is still a lot investigators say that they have yet to learn. The National Transportation Safety Board actually has investigators on the ground here in Denver. And they're dissecting every little piece of that plane. They are specifically focusing on what's left of that Pratt & Whitney 4000 series engine that failed over the weekend. And the NTSB says the engine will eventually be removed and taken apart. Investigators We'll look at the maintenance history and see if inspections were done properly. And the chairman of the NTSB says two of the engine fan blades were fractured, one of them actually at its root. And that's the damage that they say is consistent with that metal fatigue we are talking about. Now that fan blade is on its way to the engine manufacturer where it will be examined yet again on Tuesday. Our mission is to understand not only what happened, but why it happened so that we can keep it from happening again. Uh, we do have indications that the fuel to the uh, engine was turned off. So we will be looking to see exactly what may have uh, continued to propagate a fire. As we have said plenty of times now, this investigation is really just beginning, and now the NTSB says it is looking at similarities with two other incidents involving Boeing 777s that used this same engine, Gary. All right, Jordan, thanks for the update.